Hello fairies and welcome back to my channel. It's Shannon. Today we are just going to be doing a chill get ready with me video and I'm going to be catching you up on what's been going on in my life. It's been kind of like a rough couple of weeks for me. I learned a lot of life lessons so I just want to do makeup today, catch up and talk to you about what's been going on. Before we do that make sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you've not already. I'd love to have you join our little fairy fam here. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Really appreciate it and let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna say sorry if I'm sweating in this video. It's really hot in here right now. I'm getting ready right now. I'm gonna go meet my friend and we're gonna go do some stuff this afternoon. So I got up early to film this and get my makeup done to go see her. I'll link everything down below. I'm gonna be talking so I probably won't go over everything that I'm using in this video but it'll be down there if you want to see. Posted on my story, not this last Sunday, but the Sunday before. I do try my best to post a new video on my channel every Sunday. I had to take a week off Sunday before this last one because I was injured. I went through a really rough week. Disclaimer, I'm not trying to complain. I just want to like share because I went through like something hard and learned some lessons. I know people like always have it worse than you. I'm okay, thank goodness. And I I'm grateful for what happened and that I was able to learn from it. Usually when you all see my videos, I usually film almost like a week ahead. My schedule looks like this every week. I work Wednesday through Saturday at my job. I work at a winery and craft brewery. I usually kind of take Sundays to finish editing or do all my editing, get my video uploaded that day. Mondays are kind of my day off usually doing like chores and laundry though and then Tuesdays are my filming days. So I keep pretty busy. I've been kind of going, 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 grinding for a while now. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow first today because I have this palette I want to try and it's got some glitter in it. So I bought this a while ago, still haven't used it. I've never tried a Wet n Wild palette before. It's the Wet n Wild color icon. This is called Camo Flaunt. I think this was pretty affordable, like under five dollars I think. I pretty much bought this because of this glitter shade right here. I really want to try this out today, so that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to go in first here. Let's get it popping off. Oh, I'm not really good with dates, but anyways, it was maybe like two weeks ago on a Monday. He and my boyfriend were helping his dad with his house put a new bed together, and we were also like cleaning out his garage. I had been like busy the two weeks before too. I had my mom's birthday two weeks before that on my day off, and and then the week after that, we had our friend's wedding. And then the next week, we went to his house on my day off. And I had just been, like, working, filming, doing stuff, like, every day. It's, like, a really long day. We cleaned out a lot of stuff in the garage. And I was, like, dusting off a bunch of furniture that had been out there for a long time. And I think that I inhaled, like, a bunch of really old dust. And, like, it was, like... Thick, you know and I wasn't being careful enough I like didn't wear gloves and I was just kind of like tired like let's get this done I struggle with my sinuses a lot I get earaches all the time I've gotten earaches ever since I was a little girl shadow's not showing up that great but it's fine I guess I'm gonna put the glitter on let's do a little glitter glue hopefully that'll help hold it down on my lids the next day after the clean out I started noticing that my sinuses is like really hurt so I did my neti pot right away which if you don't know what that is like an ancient practice where you like flush out your sinuses with salt water and that has really helped me with my sinus problems I have to say that's made a huge difference I should probably do it more often did the neti pot didn't really think that much of it I think I filmed that day went to work the next day okay let's take a break and focus on glitter for a second I'm excited look at that Oh. oh my god. I have a feeling this is gonna be all over my face by the end of the day. Holy crap. I mean, Wet n Wild is not playing around with that glitter all underneath my eye. That's pretty intense. <laughs> Put that aside for now. I just take a makeup wipe and clean up down here. I hadn't really planned on doing this, but I saw this laying there in like my need to test pile, and I'm like, yeah, let's throw on some intense glitter. Why not? I'll put mascara on and then spray that down a little bit. Ooh, 
where were we? I ended up going to work. I guess like I don't really think about it that much, but my job is kind of physically demanding. I'm mostly a server and we get really busy, which is a good thing. I like being busy, but my job is physically demanding. So I go to work and I was like lifting all these cases of jars that like came in the mail for our store, and, like stacking them the next day too, which was like a lot of work. I feel like that night I slept on my neck wrong. And that's when like shit really started hitting the fan. I woke up and my neck was like pinched up here, right up here, to the point that I I couldn't turn my neck. And that has happened to me in the past, but never like this. <laughs> it wasn't that bad when it started. I could turn a little bit and it hurt a lot. I kept going to work. <laughs> so I just like took ibuprofen and pushed through. I went to work Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. By Saturday, like when I walked in at night, I was in a lot of pain. So much so that like, stupid hair. I like told everyone, I was like, I'm in a lot of pain right now. It turned into like a full earache in this ear and it was really weird. It was like earache like going into my neck all the way down into my shoulder. Super, super painful, like right up here at the top of my neck. I got through my shift at work. I took some medicine. By the end of the night, even like the people I work with were like, are you okay? Cause like they could tell that like I wasn't like turning. I would like look at them and I'd be like, hey, you know, like turning my whole back. And I'm like, honestly, my neck is like so pinched. I'm like in a lot of pain right now. So I got home, it was getting like really intense. I know everyone has like a different threshold for pain. I don't know if mine's like the highest ever, you know, like I haven't been through like that many terrible things. I get like really bad period cramps. I think that's probably some of the worst pain I can remember experiencing is like dehabilitating cramps where I can even like stand up and would fall down crying, which is terrible. I hope that none of you ever have to go through that. Anyways, that's besides the point. I'm in a lot of pain and James, my boyfriend, helps me get a bath drawn with Epsom salt. At this point, I am thumping. Like, it's like my neck has a heartbeat. It's just pounding. I'm like, all right, let me get in the tub because that always helps. Get in the tub and it's just like getting so intense. I can't barely like pick up my neck. Getting old is not that great sometimes. Like being in my 30s, I was just telling my friend that's turning 30, like it's been some of the best years of my life. I can definitely start to feel like my body is changing and I'm not like I used to be able to just like push and push and go, go, go. So anyways, I'm in the tub and I finally am just like, I gotta get out. I get up on the ledge and it hurts so bad. I just start bawling. Just couldn't take it anymore. It had been like days of pain and then it had just like coalesced into this like crazy pain. I do the blush under my eyes. I'm in love with this. I've been doing this all the time. I end up finally falling asleep, eating some medicine. And then the next day, James had to go to work because he just started a new job. So that would have been Sunday that I didn't post my video because obviously I hadn't got any editing done through the week and I was was just like I'm in literal so much pain I I can't get this done today so I didn't post put a video up and I was like feeling really guilty like I was gonna let people down it's like Shannon like can't move <laughs> like you're not posting a video today and I was just alone in my bed all day I managed to get up to let flower outside a few times but when I tell you I've never experienced pain like this I couldn't swallow it would like pull through my neck I finally started like researching is there a correlation between severe neck pain and sinus? I found all these articles online talking about how there are nerve endings in your back or like in your neck connected into your sinuses. Because I was just thinking a lot of times it's on my other side. I'll get that sharp pain there when my sinuses are flaring up. So I think that that was the connection. I think I got sick from inhaling all that dust. I should have been more careful and so I just want to like 
like warn everyone, you know, take stuff like that seriously. I should have had a dust mask on. I should have been more careful. It was also saying that like the sinus thing can also trigger neck pain because you're like rolling around in your sleep and uncomfortable. Sinus headaches are terrible. I hope that none of you have to experience it. I was like laying in bed alone. I watched a few Disney movies. The whole time I was just like feeling stressed though, thinking about like all the stuff I needed to do. I realized that I'm having a hard time relaxing, you know, and just like letting go. I think that's fine. I want to wrap this up because I have another story. I was in bed for four days, unable to get up and move. I'd move, but it hurt. Like I'd have to like brace myself. I'd be like laying down and be like, all right, I'm going to lift my head up. Didn't get into my chiropractor. Ended up having to call off work Wednesday because I was like, I still just like can't go in. I got to see my mom and she gave me some really good CBD balm to put on my back. I will link that below because nothing helped like that did. And I actually have some coming in the mail. Okay, so like the lesson. What is the lesson here? Because I feel like when something bad happens, I like to try and find the lesson in it. And the lesson here, I think, was I had been pushing myself way too hard, trying to keep up with this channel, keep up with work, keep my house perfect, stressing myself out about things that don't matter, clenching my jaw, not taking in enough time to rest. Rest is important. I feel like the universe was like, Shannon, if you're not gonna rest and take time, we're going to force you down into bed. Like, I had to be, like, forced down into my bed unable to move to finally realize that like I need to chill. I need to rest. I don't post a video for a week. It's fine. My health and mental well-being is more important and I feel like I've just gotten too caught up in like the stress. I needed a wake-up call and heard loud and clear, bitch, you need to chill. You need to take time to rest. Like I was saying, a lot of times I was like barely even taking a day off every week. Just going, going, going. And that is just not sustainable. I'm sharing this. Why? Because I hope that it will help you from making the same mistake I did. Because I would never wish anyone to go through what I went through. Words that kept coming to mind were like dark night of the soul. I was having some like dark thoughts. Like I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this type of thing. Being in pain is <laughs> not fun. And I feel like I also needed to go through it to gain compassion. I feel like I gained a lot of compassion just for people. Like I remember I managed to get myself over to the park one day, take my shoes off and walk around and it's like every step I took was just rattling through my neck and my head, hurting me. And I was just like looking at some other people walking around and I'm like, are they in pain too? You know, like you never know who you're gonna see out on the street. What are they going through? What kind of pain are they in? It also gave me some compassion too because I realized when you're in pain like that, it's harder to be kind to others and it's harder to be patient and oh maybe some of those like people who I think are assholes you know, like while I'm out working customer service actually just in a lot of pain it gave me compassion to understand so those were my lessons I'm happy to say that I'm better now I'm still tight I need to just like keep working on my stretching I bought a new pillow on Amazon or like neck pain. Oh my god. I feel like an old lady. Their funny thing is me and James have been watching the show Grace and Frankie on Netflix. Shout out to that show. I love that show. I think it's hilarious. While I was like laying down, there was an episode where both of them pulled their backs out and were like stuck on the floor. And I'm like, literally could not resonate more how I'm feeling right now. I was like at a point where I was like pleading. I'm like, I swear, like I will never take life for granted again. I will never take for granted feeling well if I can just feel well again. I'm better. Thank goodness. I am making an effort. I'm going to take better care of myself. Prioritize rest. Prioritize care of myself. Yeah, so the video I posted last Sunday was really meant for the Sunday before. I won't be seeing this for probably a week after, so I'm sad. I look at my 
my Tinkerbell highlighter. She's like all worn off. I grabbed this today because me and James have been watching all the Tinkerbell movies on Disney. Why don't more people talk about those and why have I never seen them? I feel like Disney sequels always kind of leave me wanting more. Not with these though. I feel like they're all really cute. If you have kids, the Tinkerbell movies are really cute. The little fairy details that they put into those movies. I love it. It's really helping like my inner child right now. I like Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell's the shit. You know what? This packaging pisses me off. It's really hard to close. This last story really quick. Yesterday, me and James were about to go golfing. We were putting like our golf clubs in the car and the neighbor across the street is like, hey, your tire is really flat. And I'm like, what? It looked like somebody had literally punctured a hole in my tire. So our first inclination is like, oh my God, somebody slashed my tire. We spent pretty much all last night trying to figure out how to get it fixed. We called Walmart and luckily they had the tire. Last night, James was trying to put the spare tire on so that he could pull it into the driveway and change the tire in the morning. He was going to take the rim and the tire to Walmart. They're going to put the new tire on. He would bring that home, put the new tire on my car. Both of our spare tire jacks broke last night while he was trying to put the spare on. So we drove out to Walmart. I bought a like $45 jack for the car. We came home. He's like trying to put this spare tire on and our road is really uneven brick. The jack flipped over. <laughs> the car was like on it. Didn't get it out. We had to call AAA last night and then a guy came out with the spare tire on for us. This morning, James woke up at six o'clock and took my tire to Walmart, got the new tire put on, fixed my tire. I have such a sweet boyfriend. So shout out to James for fixing my tire. He asked the guys at Walmart if they thought somebody had slashed the tire and they said, no, it looks like you hit like a pipe or something. And I have like no memory of hitting anything. I still don't know what happened. That literally just happened like an hour ago that he fixed my tire. So what was the lesson I learned from that? Started thinking about how I need to save money, not spend all my money on like frivolous stuff because things can go wrong. Shit happens. And at first I was like really mad and I was like, who would do this to me? Blah, blah, blah. Do I have like bad karma? And it's like, no, Shannon, sometimes shit just happens and it's not your fault. I was just thinking too, like you never know real reasoning behind something. Like who knows? I was thinking last night, what if like that guy that came to like change the tire, what if that saved his life for some reason that he had to be called out there? What if that saved his life that he like wasn't at home at that time? I don't know. Like I just have to look at the positive and think like that. Oh, why'd I take my clips out or I sprayed my face? All in all, I learned some great lessons. I really need to trim my bangs. I was supposed to do that last night when I got out of the shower and I forgot. <laughs> I guess we'll just try to make it to my next hair washing. All right, makeup is done. I feel like it was good for me to go through that. Even though it was traumatic, I am thankful that it happened. I feel like I grew as a person and I was able to find like more appreciation for my life, my health, my ability to take care of myself, to do basic tasks. Like you never realize how much you turn your neck until you can't, you know? I was just like laying in my bed I felt like this was me like the whole time just like feeling over on my nightstand like trying to find stuff I'm just grateful that I'm feeling better I'm so thankful for all of you thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed and supported my channel I really appreciate all of you so much and I'm happy with how the makeup turned out I feel like I look cute and ready to go out with my friend and prioritize having fun and relaxing a little bit this afternoon Make sure that you subscribe before you you leave I'd love to have you join our fairy fam over here on my channel and until next week please remember that you are special beautiful and magical and I love you so much bye